EFFORT TO HELP YOU HAVE A BETTER COMMUTE, MAJOR CHANGES ARE COMING TO THE I-895 BALTIMORE HARBOR TUNNEL AT FRANK FIRST AVENUE. ALEXIS AVILA ON YOUR CORNER TELLING US WHAT CHANGES COULD IMPROVE YOUR DRIVE. ALEXIS, GOOD MORNING. Good morning. Yeah, the rush hours that happen in this area can be a pain. But MTA says that when they take down this last toll plaza, it will make your commute faster and safer. Now, MTA is saying that they're planning to make some changes that will reduce crashes by 75%. They will remove the toll plaza and put in overhead gantries to collect tolls electronically instead. The, tradi the traditional toll booth is causing major slowdowns and poses challenges for drivers as trucks. And cars merge into the lanes to head into the tunnel. Less idling also means less greenhouse gas emissions, which will help the air quality in the nearby Brooklyn and Curtis Bay communities. MTA will also replace two 70 year old bridges in this area, marking the Baltimore Harbor Tunnel as one of the oldest facilities in the state. We need to make sure that we can replace and invest instead of the band aid approach because. Really, just repair and repair and repair, is, it's, it's a more expensive and a, a more disruptive, disruptive project in many ways. Now, the MTA, the Maryland Transportation Authority, is the one that's receiving this $80 million federal grant to make this project. When it comes to the construction, after they have the uh, contractor secured next year, then after that is when construction will go, and it will last for three years. Reporting live, I'm Alexis Davila for WJZ. Thank you, Alexis.